My name is Robert with Web Developer Ninja, and today we're going to do some live coding. Um, I'm currently in the process of um, turning our our app ToolingInventory.com from using straight CSS to using less. And to accomplish this, we're going to use Grunt. And um, I thought, like, why not? I'm just going to shoot a video on how I would actually go about developing this. I've got um, uh, some good experience with less. Uh, it's really great. It's easy to use, and I've got. We're going to use uh, Grunt for this, and we're actually all we're going to do is follow along with this blog. I just read it. It's, it's um, Eric Nish .io. He's got this blog. Compile less files with Grunt. So um, I like to start projects small and um, just get something small up and running. So we're just going to get this up and running. I'll show you live coding how it goes. Um, so we're going to use Cloud9, and I'm going to say new front end less that's going to name it and i'm going to just select node.js for the pro, uh, the template type new front end less and if you don't know node don't don't be uh, worried we're just going to delete a lot of files it just i like using it cuz it has npm set up already so um, that is great and um, now let's 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 kind of look at this blog. So Grunt is a Node task runner. So we're talking about using Grunt, and we're going to install Node. Which, because we're using this here, we have Node installed, and now we're going to install Grunt. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is npm. Actually, let's just copy paste. I always get in trouble typing things. Copy paste and we will let that install boom now we have our grunt command line interface so in step three we're gonna create a grunt file .js. so again I'm just gonna copy fit copy paste copy and in here we're gonna be like new file grunt file .js. open that guy up all right step three copy it yeah we got that example so let's take a quick look at this. How this grunt works is it's using that ES6. We're using module.exports. Actually, it's not ES6, but we're using module exports. And I'm just actually, again, I just copy paste a lot. I think it's a great way to program. Uh, it's it's a good way, good way to get things done. So module.exports, and we're going to require this. Um, so file.main.exports. CSS. So this is going to be the file that Grunt is going to actually create, and it looks like when we copy this over, the less files are going to be in. Let's see, in this less folder, and then we'll have a main dot less, and then you can set up this watch. So let's let's go ahead without even. Let's kind of just make these folders here. So we're going to make this CSS folder, and I don't even think we need the main. I think we just need the CSS folder. So let's try that. CSS. And then we need a we need a less folder. Less. And inside of the less folder, we're gonna make this main dot less. Alrighty. Um, I'm just gonna put something inside of it like body, background, color, green. Just so when it compiles, we can see that it's actually working. And that, I, I literally think that should be it. Uh, let's read the next step. Um, configure the, configure the, oh, we have to do a package file. I'm pretty sure of that. So, okay. So now we need to, we're going to run npm init. We already have our template directory. So just going to copy, paste npm init um, you can knit you can now this is uh, nodes gonna prompt you to give you like names of your workspace I just hit enter through all this just for this quick testing um, getting getting something up for the for my app and then I'll what I like to do is get it up really fast and then go back and optimize it because like I don't like naming my less file like main dot less I don't necessarily like like I have a specific naming structure I like but to get it up that's quick quick is good all right, package JSON. Okay, and now we're gonna use 
um, this command to install the grunt dependencies that are going to actually uh, compile the less and all you have to do npm is amazing just copy paste and take note this dash dash save dev is actually going to make it so it updates your package.json so hit enter I think this will change real time so we're gonna let that do its thing so okay so now it seems like I think this is the last step the next thing we do is type in grunt and we should have um, a file in this not the less in this CSS file should have a main.css and then um, you can take note that actually it did live update so we've got dev dependencies on here so now we're gonna just say grunt and if it works CSS we should have a file uh oh aborted due to warnings warning task default not found uh, it should be found. Register task. Task default not found. See, that's weird because it should have. This is a default, and we're using less and watch. Um, so, hmm. Let's try this one more time. Maybe it was a, f a fluke. Grunt. Okay. <clears throat> Use dash s force to computer continue. Let's just see. I mean, I, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the right thing to do. Let's see if this works. Force. Okay. So task default not found. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> Google this tat. Google this error message. I know what it means. Like the what's happening is there's a default task for grunt and for some reason it's not we set we've set it but it's not oh wait load wait all right let's see what stack overflow says okay you're missing a comma so it's possible that there's something wrong with the package.json so let's open that guy up missing commas from sometimes when you copy paste code things get weird uh looks like everything's good there Okay, just a warning for those new to JSON. I had to remove the trailing commas after. So I don't think that's our issue. Um, it could be. Let's see. Could be that. We're not loading the dependency. We're register task. So we're registering our default task, and we're doing this less and watch. And you can see we have less and watch. So I don't know why. Um, you have to define. I don't think we're registering tasks, actually. This might be missing. Some, OK, so we are registering tasks. Um, defaults. Let's see if default and then it's an array hmm okay let's do this grunt I think you can say grunt and actually just say um, less maybe it's just something wrong with the default that's it's, it, it will help us understand okay task less not found so there's almost something wrong with how this is Let's see, grunt. Maybe it wasn't saved. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I did not save my file, um, but it works. So yeah, you just have to copy that, and now we can. You can see that we have this main.css, and this is compiled, um, compiled CSS. And just we'll just do a quick. Actually, yeah. Well, um, now that now we're just running grunt, we have grunt watching real time. So if in our less we say body and then we want to be like h1 and you want to say font size 22 22 pixel and once you save it um whoa oh reload on disk cloud nine um 
so it compiled and you can look at our main.css and now you can see that it is compiling so that's it for this video i just want to show you kind of how i would go through getting something like this up and running and like how how what i'm going to do now because i'm going to actually put this into our production app is go through and get the naming structures like i like i like and uh, just make small tweaks to get it ready but that's getting things up fast and, and getting out the door is good so uh, if you want to stay tuned for more uh, of these live coding videos they're kind of fun to do so hit that subscribe button thanks